Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> All right, so putting out this video right now, uh, I tried to go live, I tried to stream it. The video was super lagging and I fixed all my settings in my OBS, which seemed to help it for the most part the last time I did my video. And now that I've gone to YouTube, I can see it's YouTube that's the issue. Not to mention there were Google moderators in my live chat for the very first time. I have never seen that before. And I mean, I've never seen it in anyone's live chat and they started deleting my chats. They started deleting Keystone's chats. I don't know if they deleted anyone else, but um, I don't know what's going on. Someone's clearly watching my channel and uh, that's still not gonna stop me from putting this message out. All right, so I'm recording it so I can also upload it to other places if I need to. If you guys aren't, follow me on Instagram. I'm more active on Instagram than I am Facebook. I'm actually trying to get away from Facebook altogether. Um, now, last night I was in meditation and I was in meditation listening to the music that I've just chosen for the new alchemy meditation. For those of you in my alchemy program, uh, you're going to love this next meditation. It's going to have healing codes and it's going to, um, it's going to have activations in it, but it's so soothing. Um, so listening to this, it has a huge heart opening effect to the music. And I think because my heart was opening so much, I actually felt healing happen while I was listening to this music that it allowed me to connect with the Pleiadians and they started streaming some information. And I realized I have to pick up the phone so I can type this message out. Um, and so I'm going to read to you guys this Pleiadian message. Before I do though, they want me to remind all of you that the last channeled message I put out was called, it's time to lift the veil, also from the Pleiadians. They really want you to watch that if you haven't, because they're going to mention it again in this message. And that message came out the day, um, I put that out the day of the, um, the voting day. Okay, the big voting day in America. There's certain words I know they're just picking up on, so I'm not saying them. Um, now, that message came into me the night before as well. And so I delivered that on that day. Um, you, there is so much deception and manipulation coming through. They even asked me to do a video on that. Uh, two nights ago, they woke me up in the middle of the night, kind of like pushing me, like you've got to do this video. And, and, and I'm, so I'm going to talk about it after I do this message. Okay, guys. All right, so link for the um, lift, it's time to lift the veil is below. Also below is a link to my video, which is also a meditation and activation called The Hero Awakens Earth Angels Rise. They also asked me to link that in the description below because it's time for everyone to listen to that. Their manipulation is so strong that it's starting to dampen the spirit of many and they don't want you to have your spirit damp and they want to activate the hero within. So please... Um, watch that video link is in the description below if you haven't yet already or if you have listened to it again it's a free meditation and i've changed it so that there are no ads in that video in the in throughout the the middle um all right let's get into the message from the pleiadians i'm going to read it slowly so uh the message can really sink in for you guys are you seeing things clearly yet as we mentioned before it is time to lift the veil and the veil has been lifted. The deception cannot hide any longer. It simply cannot. Sharpen your senses. Look only through the lens of truth, for the lens of truth does not choose sides. It simply reveals what is, and what is will be uncomfortable for all. Nicole has been noticing the subtle energy changes in the field of those she once trusted and is now seeing with a fresh perspective, one that only wants to see truth, not what one hopes is true. You must start to do the same. There is a lot of compromise, as is what often happens on the human journey. This is not about judgment. It is about seeing what is, wit what is, sorry, let me read that again. It is about seeing what is with clear eyes and an open heart a heart that holds compassion for the human errors, yet also knows that every action must be held accountable. Manipulation is increasingly becoming more and more exposed. It is what feels to many of you as an all-time high. 
There is a massive struggle for power in play as those who once held it begin to widen their eyes to the truth they can no longer run from, no longer avoid. The hearts of humanity have grown exponentially and hold the frequency for liberation from this old power structure. Continue to hold the line as many of you are saying. Do not waver in your faith. Your faith is what keeps you from falling prey to the manipulation that is designed to break your spirit. Do not break with spirit. Energetically, reach your hands out to your brothers and sisters who walk in light and send the vibrational codes of unity, courage, and hope for the bright future that lies ahead. Your power is held in the deep knowing you are one with creator and all of humanity. Allow the heavenly skies to open up above you and shower you with the purity of the angelic ray. Cleanse away the fear and hold steadfast in your mission forward. We are here with you. We walk with you. The dawn is on the horizon. Oh, that gives me chills even just when I read it. Um, there is deception. Um, and massive manipulation happening right now, massive manipulation to levels none of us have seen in our lifetime in the way that it's being used across um, social media platforms. Uh, but the reason why it's so overt and so in your face is because their back is up against the wall right now. Uh, they're, it's basically like a rabid dog that you reach your hand for and it's gonna bite you. Uh, it, it, it has no other option but to fight like its life matters. It, it depends on it because it does. And um, the, as the Pleiadians have said, there is no more running from this truth. And this truth is widening in their own vision, in their own eyes. They are starting to realize that their time is up. The time is up. And um, the 11th hour is here for many of us in that Many times the dawn doesn't break until it's darkest and we are within our 11th hour right now. And I believe this 11th hour is going to last a little bit longer. Um, however, I get a sense that there's something big going to happen next week. Um, there was a raid, I believe, yesterday to expose software. I'm not gonna get into any names or all of that um, but that is a big one, bigger than the actual, um, machines that were used much bigger. So the clock is ticking, time is running out and they know it. And so what I want for all of you guys to do is to really not allow them to break your spirit because I see the manipulation, I see the gaslighting and it's really easy to fall prey to some of it if you're allowing yourself to be immersed in the news all the time. And I realized that it's this is one of the reasons why the other video that I put out on the timeline is you're witnessing a timeline collapse and they said stay away from the fault line because of the rubble. That's what's happening. All of the gaslighting is part of the rubble. And I'm seeing that if you stay in it, you're going to get taken on this emotional roller coaster. I have also been watching people that I've thought were uncompromised. And after watching them this week, I have noticed they are absolutely compromised. Um, one of the things that you, is a dead giveaway right now, is anyone who is conceding this this event, conceding it like it's pretty much over or it's like gonna be very difficult to win, they're compromised. That is a compromise giveaway. There is nothing to concede here. There is nothing here short of a win as far as I see it. It may take a little longer to get there. It may be a difficult road to get there, but we're getting there, okay guys? And I want to make that really clear because that's what I feel deep, deep within my very own cellular knowing and heart. Yes, it is something that I want, but I also just feel it. I feel it as truth. Um, but I know the win is there regardless, regardless of how this goes down, the win is there. And I want you guys to keep that in your heart as well. Keep sending out those vibrational codes of hope, courage, and unity. 
uh, to all of your brothers and sisters, including those who see the truth in a different perspective than you right now. Neither, it's, it's not about, I had this conversation with um, a friend this morning uh, who's also a client. And um, I told him, it's not about being on the right side of things. It doesn't matter if you believe you're on the right side. If you believe you're on the right side, you're still buying into polarity. Just believe in the truth, no matter what that is. Whatever that is, we all have to be willing to see it and face it. And I have a feeling that that truth is going to shock even some of those of us who think, you know, we can't be shocked anymore. So hold strong, stay grounded, focus on your own journey right now, continue to reveal whatever truths that need to be revealed within you so that you can continue to um, nurture and expand the frequencies of this timeline into fruition uh, of being of truth revelation. Uh, that is one of the, mo the one of the strongest and best ways that we can assist the timeline in coming through is by excavating our own darkness and finding the truths that need to be revealed that we've been hiding within us. Uh, as so as above, so below. So um, keep that in mind. And that's why there are so many distractions right now to keep us from excavating our own truths to help assist in this timeline because we are so powerful, because we know the strength of our own energy and we know what it means to work from the heart structure. So continue to do that. Um, and stay on track. Things are going to be okay. All right, guys. So please, I'm asking you to share this video as far and wide as you can. Uh, they cannot break our spirit and I don't want them to break anyone's spirit. Um, so if you can, please share this video with whoever um, you can across any social media platforms, your friends, your family, you know who will listen. And I will be back soon with more messages. These seem to be coming in more frequently. So uh, get ready for more guys. And again, if you're interested in my alchemy program um, and working with a bunch of us, I have a private discord chat for that. Um, and we meet once a month and there's a lot of stuff to learn from to help you on your ascension process, your shadow journey, your healing. If you need a supportive community, uh, it's extremely supportive. And I'm so excited to see so many of you opening up to your own intuitive gifts and expanding upon them and letting the world see them. I also have a pro I also have a Discord community chat for YouTube for everyone on this YouTube that is open. It is free. Um, the link for that is in the description below as well. And if you need any more information about me or you'd like to work with me, just head on over to my website. I have a newsletter there. And if you need to book a reading or a coaching session, a healing session, inner child, anything, I'm here to work with you guys. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you so much love. Don't let them break your spirit. We're going to see a huge win for humanity in all of this. And uh, literally the clock is running out. Peace and love to all of you.